Working on cruise ships for five years ignited and fueled my passion for traveling, allowing me to put my feet on the land of 60 countries so far. In the traveling section of my channel, I love to share with you some of the best memories I collected around the world. Hi everyone, this is Carlo and today I'm gonna tell you my 8 best travel memories from New Zealand. In no particular order, but I definitely saved the best for last. This country started to amaze me from the time we approached the port of Auckland. I visited my friends Francesca and Davide, Italian expats in New Zealand, and Francesca said, be prepared to many sudden changes of weather, but we are sure you will enjoy every single place you'll see, and also you will have the chance to eat probably the best salmon of your life. Hmm. Okay. A few days after, we docked in Dunedin, and once I got my head around the fact that it's not pronounced Dundin nor Dundin, I joined a group for a hike of Mount Cargill to see what they call the organ pipes, which are basalt cylindrical formations created 10 million years ago by the volcanic eruptions in the area. Incredible, isn't it? The hiking trail has a few different paths, and some parts are definitely challenging, because the soil gets muddy and slippery, but I was amazed by the lush and variety of the vegetation. Pepperwood, cedar, fuchsia, manuka trees, colorful lichens, and look at me with a giant fern. And here we are, you can see the organ pipes, see those columns on the top of the mountain. And these are the ones that brittled and fell down. We took a few pictures and we stopped at Butter's Peak to drink some hot chocolate provided by the guide. At that point it was starting to be freezing cold and it was definitely time to go back to the ship. But yes, mountain hikes are one of the top activities I recommend to do in New Zealand because the nature will leave you speechless. Next we are going to Picton, which is a lovely little port town in the art of the Marlborough Sounds. A nice place for cafes, kayaking and boat tours. I went on a boat cruise called the Seafood Odyssey. If you know me, you know that I absolutely love seafood. During this cruise, I learned the difference between a fjord and a sound. A fjord is an underwater valley carved by glaciers that melted, and it's usually enclosed between very steep cliffs. A sound, on the other hand, like the Marlboro Sound, is still a valley under seawater, but it comes from a river flood, not a glacier. So it's larger, and the cliffs are more gently sloping. We saw some beautiful houses that are only accessible by boat, and again, an incredibly lush nature. But the best moment for me was when I got to try some local seafood, like cloudy bay clams, green shell mussels, and what was, safe to say, hands down, the best salmon of my life. So good. The city of Gisborne was the set of two highlights of my time in New Zealand. Dai Tatapuri is a structure by the sea that offers interactive and educational experiences with stingrays and other sea life. Once we wore these watertight dungarees, we slowly entered the water in a line. It wasn't long before stingrays came close to the coast and I had the chance to feed them. They actually sit on your feet and let you slowly caress them. It's surely an unforgettable experience. These creatures are so fascinating. Obviously, I couldn't miss the opportunity for a cheeky wine tour in New Zealand. And in Gisborne, I went to visit two family-run vineyards. Matawiro has been one of the top names in New Zealand's wine history since the 60s and the vineyards are absolutely gorgeous. I've enjoyed incredible pairings of wine and cheese. Same happened at Bushmere Estate, where the owner, who's such a brilliant storyteller, talked us through the different wines. I had an afternoon of Merlot, Pinot Gris, Viognier, and in both places I experienced the best Gewurztraminer of my life. Sorry if I repeat myself, but hey, if you're in Gisborne, go for a wine tour and thank me later. Up next, Akaroa. 
In this little town, fairly close to Christ Church, I saw an interesting museum about the Maori heritage. But as an artist, what amazed me the most was my visit at the Giant's House. The Giant's House is the house, museum and gallery of the incredible artist Josie Martin. The garden is a real wonderland of mosaic sculptures and installations. Josie's mission is to use art to express joie de vivre, make people smile and celebrate life. Once you explore the Masterpiece Garden, the incredible display of beautiful art continues inside the house, where photos were not allowed, but I can assure you it was brilliant. The Giant's House is also a bed and breakfast accommodation, where you can book one of the three available rooms and be fully immersed in this artistic realm. I will link the website in the description. Make sure you check it out to know more about this amazing place. For the next travel memory, I chose the city of Napier. It's famous for its local wines and it has a very nice art center and gallery. But what I love the most is that it's built and decorated in authentic Art Deco style from the 30s, which is perfectly preserved on the facade of the buildings and you can contemplate it, also join in a guided tour. It's such fun to sit down for a coffee and see these vintage cars pass by. Also, the city combines this Art Deco look with California-style palm trees and urban street art, and this combination that may seem weird at the start somehow works so well and makes this place really unique. We are trotting towards the best travel memories of New Zealand that you will find at number 8, but first, number 7. In the city of Tauranga, in the Bay of Plenty, I went for another hike. This time was Mount Maunganu. The hiking trail basically goes all around the mountain and it gives you some of the best coastal views that you can ask for. I hiked Mount Maunganui by myself. I remember it was our last stop before leaving New Zealand. And I really wanted to take that time for myself to meditate and say thank you to this awesome country. On the way down, I stopped on a small strip of beach to sunbathe. But unfortunately, I got stung by a bee. Ouch! Ti pareva che non mi doveva succedere una sfiga. So I had to rush back to the port and get some rubbing alcohol. I also got some burnt that day. I... I never learned. And we've come to my favorite travel memory from New Zealand. Cruising Milford Sound and Duffo Sound. It was worth waking up at the break of dawn for such a spectacular experience. Waterfalls, plunging cliffs, and abundant and lavish green nature. In just under two weeks of cruising, New Zealand secured a place in my heart and made me realize how blessed I was to be able to experience it in all its marvel thanks to my job. With all kinds of weather and a distinctive and unique spirit, this country is a real gem on planet Earth. Have you been to New Zealand and how was your experience? Feel free to let me know in the comments and don't forget to check my traveling playlist for more of my travels. If you want to support me, you can subscribe my channel for new videos about traveling, creativity and human stories every week. Bye for now and see you soon.